Have a new dog in your home? Do they know what it's like to be left alone? Dog trainer and behavior modification specialist Dina Cooper joins us with some tips for pets in the pandemic. And who do you have with you? <laughs> I have a little puppy named Hunter. I like to call her Bella because she's so cute. And right now she's eating a, a great cookie from uh, Cookie Town. I think it's sweet potato and flaxseed. Very cute, very cute. So lots of people um, are getting dogs or have got dogs already during the pandemic because they're home. But, but you know, what happens when everybody, when life gets back to normal again? Are we going to see, uh, I, I'm sure adoption centers are worried about many dogs returned for, uh, you know, being put up for adoption. I think there is a, a cause to be concerned because everybody's home right now. But I think the best thing that people can do um, to help create, create an emotional balance for your dog is to try to leave the house for an hour every day. Or you could start at 40 minutes and then uh, work out to an hour so you're teaching the dog it's okay to be left alone. Otherwise, if you don't do that, then you're right. You have a lot of puppies with severe separation anxiety. Mm -hmm. Do you think Bahar, a large part of your training is actual people training, not so much dog training? Because, you know, sure, you've got, especially you, you've got this great little puppy in the house now. You want to be with it all the time. Uh, yes, you're right. It is training the people. I usually say um, be, uh, be consistent, lots of patience, lots of love, and um, lots of repetitions. And the dogs will usually take that. But you've got to... Uh, be able to carry through all the time with your dog and not give your dog the signals like somebody you love the dog on the couch one minute and a half an hour later. Uh, mom comes into the room doesn't allow the dog on the couch because she's going to keep the dog. Mm -hmm. Is it a simple matter of, you know, when you know that you're going back to work, whatever your work schedule is, maybe taking the dog out at that time for a quick walk so that the dog gets kind of used to, okay, this is when we go out for my morning walk kind of thing, and, and the same at night? Yes, yes. It's good to have a, a routine like that. Um, and it's also good to have a routine like that. But if you want to uh, curtail severe separation anxiety, then what I would suggest uh, people do is uh, give the dog a time-release treat. Um, I, I like to use two different cookie pounds and put them in the freezer and um, do that for about 10 minutes before you leave so the dog's in an apathy frame of mind and not an anxious frame of mind. Uh, it's good to walk the dog before you leave or you can go up for a longer walk than normal because uh, a tired dog is a happy dog. Yes, so yes. That's not fiction. What about where the dog sleeps? Um, I usually suggest with people that get puppies, have the puppies in their room for the first two weeks. And then after that, the puppy definitely knows that it's, um, new, it's new home is where it is. And if you can't get the crate um, into another room and the puppy should settle down. I also suggest uh, putting some music on um, for, the, for the puppy or some sleeping shoes. It will help. You want to catch the bear because you can't see that the dog off the bear with the heart beat in it. You can get some... Uh, Okay. Well, good luck with Hunter. Dina, very nice to e-meet you, and uh, we'll get your information up on our website, chch.com. Thank you.